Now, today I am will be discussing the important topic of coordinate geometry, that is the circles. In every GML examination, at least one question must be asked from the circles. What is the circles? Difference of the circles said that the circle is a locus of a point which moves in a plane so that such that its distance from the fixed point is constant. That fixed point is called center of the circle and that fixed distance is called the radius of circles. Let me assume P x comma y be moving point on the circumference of circles. So we know that so it distance from the fixed point is constant. That is P c is equal to a, where R is the radius of circles. P c it is the distance between two point P and C. We know that using the distance formula. We know that coordinate of the x comma y. We know that coordinate of c alpha comma beta. So using the distance formula, we find the distance between p and c under root x minus alpha cos square plus y minus beta cos square is equal to r square. A squaring both sides, we get x minus alpha cos square plus y minus beta cos square is equal to r square. This is called equation of circle. Here, center of circle is alpha beta and radius of circle is r. Now we put alpha is equal to zero and beta is equal to zero here. We put then we get equation of circle is x square plus y square is equal to r square and it is the geometrically form of this. We know that equation of circle is x minus alpha cos square plus y minus beta cos square is equal to r square. And here alpha and beta is the center of the circles. Now it will be expanded out. Then it becomes x square plus alpha square minus 12 x and it becomes y square plus beta square minus 2 beta y is equal to r square. Now it we arrange in the decreasing power of the variable. Decreasing power of the variable. We have x square plus y square minus 2 alpha x minus 2 beta y plus alpha square plus beta square minus alpha square. Because here variable of power is 2, here variable of power is 2, here variable of power is 1, here variable of power is 1 and here variable of power is 0. Now we replace in these equations alpha to minus g and beta to minus g. Now that is in these equations where is alpha we put minus g and where is beta we put minus f. Then it becomes x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2y plus g square because minus g square g square minus f square f square and minus y square equal to 0. And now it is the constant so it let be assume it is c. So it becomes x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2y plus g is equal to 0. And this is called the general equation of circle, whose center is minus g minus f and radius is under root g square plus f square minus c. This equation is, again, if you know with that, center of the circle is this. Now you think, this equation is derived from this, whose center is minus, whose center is alpha and beta. You replace alpha to minus g and beta to minus f. So here put minus g and minus f, then center becomes this. Now you put minus g and minus f and radius of the circle this from here, you will get this. Okay, if you can solve this down, you will get this. Sometimes you given equations in the format and ask the center of the circles. Some student silly mistake doing here. You a student think 2g is equal to 6, g is equal to 3. 2g, 2f is equal to 4, f is equal to 2. And center of the circle is minus g minus f, which is wrong. Because when I teach, when you teach, general equation of the circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c. Here, coefficient of x square is 1 and coefficient of y square is 1. So, it is mentioned that is general equation of circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2y plus c is equal to 0, whose center is minus g minus f and radius is under root g square plus f square minus c. This is valid if coefficient of x square and y square is must be 1. So, first we make here, so it center is wrong. First we make coefficient of here x square and y square is equal to 1. Now, it making coefficient of 1, be dividing both sides by 3. You will get x square plus y square plus 6 by 3 into x plus 4 by 3 into y plus 7 by 3 is equal to 0. Now, it will we get this and here center of the circle is minus 1 comma minus 2 of 3. Now, we know that the general equation of circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2y plus 3 is equal to 0. Jump here, center is minus g minus f and radius is under root g square plus f square minus g. And we know that it is a positive square root. We know that in a positive square root, here number is either 0 or positive. So, for this concept, we classify the nature of circle. 
And if G square plus F square minus C is greater than zero, then the circle is real circle. And if G square plus F square minus C, if the value of this becomes zero, then this circle is called point circle. And if the value of this, that is G square plus F square minus C, less than zero, then the circle is called imaginary circle. But but real, but but it have real center. Now. I will be discuss in two form circle. First, normal form circle and second, general form circle. Now, third form of circle is diametric form circle. In this case, you have given extrema point of the diameter of coordinate and asked equation of circle. Let this is the circle and given AB is diameter of the circle and coordinate of A and B are given and asked equation of circles. Now, we know that in every case of circle, diameter make 19 degree at the circumference so this angle is 19 degree that is slope of line ap and slope line of line bp is equal to minus 1 slope of line ap into slope of line bp is equal to minus 1 slope of line ap del y by del x slope of line bp del y by del y by del x is equal to minus 1 now we can shift this side either now from here y minus 1 y minus y is equal to minus x minus x1 x minus x2 it comes from the left side so it becomes x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 is equal to 0 this is called diametric form of the circles here x1 y1 and x2 y2 are the extrema point of the diameter diameter will be discussed position of circle with respect to coordinate axis we know that there are two types of coordinate axis one is x axis and other is y axis now first we will be discuss position of circle with respect to x axis in this case there are two cases from case one and case two case first if hence circle cut the x axis at two distinct point or hence circle touch the x axis now we will discuss case first if hence circle cut x axis at two distinct point let me assume skip the point is a and b and coordinate of a is x1 comma 0 and x2 comma 0 then a b is called x intercept of circle yeah, it is also called length of chord along x axis and a b is equal to that is the length of chord along x axis is equal to 2 times of under root g s square minus c okay if you want to prove it come from here we know that a general equation of circle is x square plus y square plus 2g x plus 2 y plus is equal to 0 when it cut x axis then y 0 put here 0 and 0 then you get x square plus 2g x plus c is equal to 0 we know that this root is x1 and x2 so x1 plus x2 minus b by a here b is 2g and a is 1 so a is negative x1 into x2 c by a and x1 minus x2 come out is equal to under root d by a and if you find the d then you will get this now second case then circle touch x axis the bin circle touch the x axis that is x intercept 0 that means the length of chord along the x axis 0 that is ab 0 bin circle touch the x axis that is point a and point b both lies here so this length you that is 2 times of under root g s comma s is equal to 0 so g s square is equal to c that is the bin g c is equal to g s square put in the circle and then you get this x square plus y square plus 2g x plus 2 y plus z square is equal to you this circle always touch the x axis i discuss the position of circle with respect to y axis in this case will be also this two form then circle cut y axis at two distinct point yeah circle touch y axis now case first then circle cut y axis at two distinct point let me assume that point is i c and d and coordinate of c is 0 comma 1 and coordinate of d is 0 comma y2 now cd cd is called y intercept of circle yeah cd is called length of chord along y axis and this length is two times of under root f has square minus c again if you want to prove how it will become now come to here Equation of circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2y plus is equal to 0. Then circle cut the y axis. Then coordinate of x is 0. That is this term 0 and this term 0. Then it becomes y square plus 2y plus is equal to 0. Let you assume that this quadratic equation is root y1 and y2. You know that yeah? y1 plus y2 is minus b by a. y1 into y2 is c by a. And y1 minus y2 come out is equal to 2 times of 100 d by a. I will find d. This is coming. And a by 1. Now, 
भेन सर्कल टच वाई एक्सिस वाई एक्सिस देन भेन सर्कल टच वाई एक्सिस देन लेंथ ऑफ कॉर्ड इलॉन्ग वाई एक्सिस जू दैट इज की लेंथ ऑफ सीडी बिकम जू दैट इज की पॉइंट सी एंड पॉइंट डी लाइज हियर सो सीडी जू सीडी लेंथ ऑफ सीडी टू टाइम्स ऑफ हंड्रेड रूट एफ एस कॉम एंड सी इज गुड यू दैट इज एफ एस कॉइज गुड टू सी नाउ एफ सी इज इक्वल टू एफ एस कॉइज पुट हियर देन यू ब्लिक दिस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस टू जी एक्स प्लस टू एफ आई प्लस एफ एस कॉइज गुड यू दिस सर्कल ऑलवेज टच वाई एक्सिस नाउ Now we will discuss the hem circle cut at two distinct point of x-axis. Let me assume that point is end B. Then AB is called x-intercept of circle and whose length is two times of under g square minus. Hem circle cut y-axis at two distinct point. Let me assume that point is C and B. Then CD is called y-intercept and whose length is two times of under f square minus. Then g square minus value of this is positive. Then circle cut at two distinct point. When g square minus c is equal to zero, when circle touch the x-axis at one point, and if g square minus c less than zero, circle neither touch or nor cut the x-axis. That is, these types of cases are called. And if f square minus c greater than zero, then circle cut y-axis at two distinct point. If f square minus c is equal to zero, circle touch y-axis at one point. अगर इफ ए फर्स्ट कॉमन है सी लेस देन जीरो तो सर्कल नाइडल टच नॉन कट द वाई एक्सिस इन दिस कांसेप्ट सम टाइम्स यू गिवन द क्वेश्चंस ऑफ सर्कल एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस टू इज गिवन एनी टाइप्स ऑफ इक्वेशन ऑफ सर्कल इज गिवन एंड आस्क्ड कि दिस सर्कल कट टच एक्स एक्सिस और वाई एक्सिस यू आइडेंटिफाई नाउ यू कैन फाइंड जी एस कॉमन है सी एंड चेक ग्रेटर देन जीरो लेस देन जीरो या इक्वल टू जीरो एंड यू कैन कमेंट इट